Cruzy, you want to tell them all about this hypervent stuff? I don't feel like I'm the same way. <laughs> I'd rather talk about something else, but hey, here we go. <laughs> Let's go. That's the energy I have to deal with in the morning. Hey. You always just never want to do anything. You just would rather just sleep all day long. Hey, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? There's my boy, come here. Goes to hide. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> You're so cute. Mm, couldn't imagine van life without you, pal. Nope, I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay, guys, so this hypervent stuff allows airflow underneath your mattress. This is where I understand putting holes in your bed platform. See, if there was holes all over the bed platform, then you would have airflow coming up to a great big space of airflow. Like there's enough gap in there that those holes would allow air to circulate. So here's my experience on putting holes in a bed platform and then throwing your mattress on top. You have a hole in your mattress. You have cold air coming through the hole. Your mattress sits flat. So this airflow only goes to that little point on your mattress. There's a little gap between that hole and your next hole. Well, because this cold air is coming through this hole, the wood between these holes or wherever the next hole is gonna be is way colder than it would have been without that hole. So I got twice as much moisture when I had the holes in my mattress because that space between the holes didn't breathe and they were colder than they normally would have been if that was a solid wood because a solid wood would have been at least a tiny bit insulated between the holes. Does that make sense? Um, I found it got literally like twice as wet. When I had a moisture issue a few years back, put the holes in there, boom, bigger problem. So having a hole in your wood platform and using a product like this hypervent stuff, now that makes sense. So I'm pretty stoked I bought this product. It works, it works, it works. Hey, we have no more moisture underneath our bed, buddy. <laughs> no more moisture. Being out here and waking up beside a lake should be very calming for the soul. But I've been finding lately that I've been feeling incredibly restless. Like I just gotta keep moving at a very fast pace out here. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I feel like there's a piece of me out there and I gotta drive and drive and explore until I find it. Because today we found so many epic places to camp that we could have stayed at for days. But no, we just kept driving and driving and I tried, I tried to sit still today. But we just couldn't make it happen. So buckle up you guys because today is gonna be a bumpy ride. Wow. These back roads up here are blowing my mind. That's the ocean over there. <laughs> Pretty wild that you can wake up at a lake, drive five minutes down the road, and you're getting close to pulling up near the ocean. Vancouver Island has been incredibly beautiful this time, and I sure am glad I've I've learned in my van life to adventure off the paved road. Or I would have never in my life ever experienced this stuff. These roads are an easy drive too. Well serviced forestry roads, a little bumpy. Put your van built to the test, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure screws are falling out all over back there. So worth the adventure. That is the Pacific Ocean. That's the sun that we don't see very often out here in our West Coast winters. And that is an amazing blue sky today. This is picture perfect. 
What? How is this even real? Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada sucks. Don't come here, you won't like it. <laughs> so I think we're gonna park it still for a day. We drove for maybe 10 minutes this morning from where we woke up and I think we're just gonna find somewhere to park it for the rest of the day today because why not leave my adventurous days in the rain? Because we can stay at home and drive around. How weird is that? To live in a van, you can stay at home and drive around and an adventure while you're still in the heated luxuries of your home. <laughs> oh, van life amazes me every time. So I think we're gonna sit in uh, somewhere. We'll find a place to bunker down for the day and just enjoy some of the sunshine. Maybe we'll find a spot right here with a view like, with a view like that. Okay, that's our morning plan, to go for a little drive and see if we can find a camp spot with this view. <laughs> this is fun. Woohoo! They don't call this place Beautiful British Columbia for nothing. <laughs> Woo, what a way to wake up in the morning. What do you guys think? Nice place to call home. We have uh, a swing back there. Amazing ocean view. Uh, there's a mill over there. There's a bunch of log booms on the water. You can hear the boom boat back there. Oh, this is great. Oh, I recognize now. So right around that corner, right over there, right around that corner is that Little Bear Bay. I, rem I recognize that boat that's, you guys probably can't see. I recognize that boat that's right there. Oh, it is cold outside today. Feels like it's like minus five or something. It's freezing. We always gotta make enough bacon for me and for Mr. Cruzy. We're not gonna stay here. <laughs> it's hard to leave a spot this breathtaking, but I don't think this spot's gonna see any sun at all today. The sun came up over there. It's about there right now, and it's probably gonna stay at that angle all day today and pop down somewhere over there, <laughs> which means this is gonna be a very cold and chilly spot all day. <sighs> Oh, it's gonna be a hard one to leave, let me tell you. But I really wanna go, I wanna go play in, that, in, in the sunshine over there somewhere. <laughs> You're like, Dad, don't leave, let's not go. Let's go find somewhere warmer, somewhere in the sunshine maybe. You need somewhere in the sunshine maybe? This is the lake that we stayed at last night, but see where it, that narrow is right there? We stayed around the other side of that arm there. This is wild. It's a lot of fun driving down roads that you have no idea where they're going. That's it. Ends here at another little camp spot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
I had no idea the Vancouver Island had this much free camping. Everywhere I turn down these backcountry roads, I've come across another BC Parks and Recreational site with free camping, maximum 14 days stay. Vancouver has shocked me this time. I don't remember this many lakes or this many mountains. Finding places to boondock, pretty damn easy. <laughs> this was fun. It's always weird to come back somewhere and see different things than you saw the last time you were there. It's like the last time I was here my eyes were not open. Mind you, I wasn't really a big backcountry guy back then. But even then, I never heard about these places. I never heard about these lakes or how amazing it is out here and all the free places that I could park my van and camp. I didn't know that Forest Service Roads offered so much fun and adventure. So for a lot of you out there that are a little scared about putting your vehicle in the dirt, it's not so bad out here. Sure, there's some areas you may have to turn around and sure, there may be some spots that your vehicles won't fit because it's too low to the ground. But other than that, these backcountry areas are pretty accessible to just about everything. I don't know you guys, don't come out here, you won't like it. It's another BC recreational site that's completely empty. Oh, these places are just blowing my mind. Wow. Welcome to the wonderful world of free camping. Holy crap. <laughs> Nothing but free camp spots after free camp spots after free camp spots. This one is Pie Beach Recreational Site. Vancouver Island sucks. <laughs> Don't come here. Crazy, you should look behind you. Huh? I should look over there, bro. Uh, this is getting kind of gnarly up here and really loose rocks. Wow, <laughs> that's the good stuff right there. What's up, weirdos? So good. I know you hear me preach this just about every single day, but I love that thing. I love it that I made a leap in my life and did something crazy and moved into that because if we didn't, I wouldn't be up here right now on the top of the mountain feeling so damn free. So I turned on the radio and we got a speck of radio and they were talking about all this COVID stuff and how the vaccines now, they think they might not be able to get everybody done until the summer of 2022. We're not even into the summer of 2021 yet. It's like, I'm like, are they going to keep dragging us through this stuff? And instead of, <laughs> it just made me laugh because and made me feel thankful that I've discovered the backcountry because there ain't no COVID up here, baby. Things feel normal here. And maybe that's been my big draw is that things over here just feel, ah, I just hear that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs>
The drone's been up a lot today, but it's super hard to like capture this stuff and give you guys perspective on where we are if it wasn't for this little thing. <laughs> that little baby camera right there on the front. That one. Hey, okay. pop head up and down for us. There you go. See, he's looking down, he's looking up. <laughs> Alrighty. See you later, little guy. Up we go. It seems that no matter how restless I get, if I continue to travel down the road a little bit more all the time, I seem to find that calmness, that peace and quiet that I need inside. I don't know, it's like I feel like I'm a puppy or a little kid that needs to burn off a little bit of energy in order to calm myself down. But right here in this spot is where I found that peace. I just about stayed, just about. But then I got curious on what's down this road a little bit farther, because if I'm finding these epic free campsites, I wonder what's just around the corner. So here we go again. A lot of people say that I have searched out my camp spot and that's how I find all these epic places. I think these last series of videos have showed you that epic campsites are all over. Look at this one. It's got a nice little rock thing for a fireplace and a hand-built dock. Dare I step on this? Oh, damn. <laughs> it's amazing. And that view. <laughs> I'm not ready to stop yet, so we're gonna keep exploring. Hey, it even comes with a little bar or a perfect little DJ booth. Look at this, right mounted onto the tree. I'm miss missing one board. I need one more board here and I can just use this as my DJ booth. There's a little creek running behind this one. And then there's the view. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Everywhere you look. Ooh. Oh, those big, peaceful, quiet days that people always search out. I don't search for big peaceful days, I like a peaceful moment in my day. I'm more of an adventure guy, I want to be out there exploring and seeing new things. Sitting still, well it's only fun until the beer runs empty, no I'm not drinking and driving. <laughs> but let me tell you, after this day, I'm definitely going to crack myself a beer. I'm more of a guy that wants to know what's down the road and wants to know what's down the road right now today. I can't sit still and wait till tomorrow because that would drive me crazy. Sometimes I think I'm just a four-year-old with a driver's license. I'm out here just to have a little bit of fun. You know you've driven way too far when you hit pavement. No! Please, no! <laughs>